Hi, this is Susan Sweeney, one of the deans at eLearning U. In this short video, and very short video, I'm going to give you an overview on how to create a Facebook page. This is not a uh, typical program that we offer at eLearning U. It is just a real short snippet for people that are participating in our Facebook marketing series who have not ever created a Facebook page. Uh, it's just to basically show you how easy it is to set up that page, uh, what's involved, uh, and a few little uh, points that you might want to consider. So what you do is you go to uh, facebook.com. If you're logged in, you will need to log out to get access to this particular section. So you log out of Facebook, and at the bottom of the page, you'll see Create a Page. Create a page for celebrity, band, or business underneath the Sign Up button. So you click on create a page. When you click on create a page, you're taken here and you're going to set up uh, the official page, the official page for a business. Now it asks you what type of business. Is it a local business, a brand, product, or organization, an artist, band, or public figure? Very important that you choose the right category here because that will dictate uh, the type of content, the layout, the tabs, uh, the standard tabs that you have for uh, that particular page. So today I'm going to, let's see, what kind of a business am I going to have today? I'm going to have a bed and breakfast. Now a bed and breakfast would be a local business. So I'm going to click on local business. I'm given the drop down menu and I'm going to choose hotel and lodging because that is the most appropriate category for a bed and breakfast. Now I've got to give it a page name <clears throat> and because I don't have a bed and breakfast, I've got to develop a name. So I'm going to call this the, um, oh, let's see, I'm going to call it the uh, Waverly um, Bed and Breakfast. And I'm going to say, yes, I am the official representative and I do have permission to create this page. And I'm going to create the official, pe official page it's going to ask me to confirm that I am in fact an official representative and that I do have permission and it's going to tell me oh you know that if I violate what uh, what happens so I'm going to create the page I'm going to confirm that I am uh, an official representative the next thing that it asks is if I have a Facebook account already and it asks this because it will attach that page to my Facebook account so I'm going to say yes I do I'm going to put in my email as if I'm logging in and then my password for that account and I'm going to log in. Now it has automatically attached this new page to my Facebook account. Now the first screen that you see is the getting started. Now the getting started isn't really the getting started. <laughs> it says getting started and the first thing that it gives you is to upload an image. But if you look at steps uh, two, three, four, five, six, uh, these are all things that come later. Invite your friends. Don't invite your friends to your Facebook page until you have it set up, until you have a strategy, unless you've, until you've got good content, uh, until you've got, uh, until you're ready to have enough content there to encourage people to come back, that it's valuable enough for them to spread the word and tell other people, that it's valuable enough for them to like your page. So um, although this looks like where you get started, it's not really. The uh, add an image can be, however, you, can, you will go over here to the edit page because over here you've got the option to upload your image for your page as well. So I would suggest that you go over to edit the page. When you click on edit page, you've got a number of different options here. Uh, first one is manage permissions. And this basically is um, how you want to set up the rules and regulations, basically of how you want to set up this, uh, this business page. Uh, you can decide that only admins can see this page and you might want to set that up while you're working on the page uh, so that uh, nobody else can find the page uh, while, uh, while you're developing it. Uh, country restrictions, so I can decide which countries I want allowed access to this. Uh, you leave it blank and all countries have access to it. Age restrictions, if, uh, if you need to have that. 
and uh, then you've got different uh, different elements down here that you will choose posting ability you can just click and unclick to see who can all users add videos all add photos uh, the default landing tab right now you're going to leave that at wall but when we get into the more advanced techniques that we'll cover in Facebook marketing 101 and um, Facebook page marketing uh, we'll probably talk about I know that we will talk about um, landing pages and uh, you might want to have a fan only uh, landing page you might want to have a welcome a custom welcome uh, video or custom welcome um, tab so here's where you decide what the default landing tab is um, we get into the to basic information the basic information uh, the information that you provide here uh, if you leave it blank it won't be shown on your page obviously uh, but if you fill it in the information um, may very well be shown on your page in uh, the appropriate location so here you put in the address uh, city town or zip uh, hours of operation that you're uh, that you're open and then you've got a number of different categories down here about description general information um, and what I would suggest that you do before you start to fill this in go out and do some research go out and check on other types of businesses like yours and see what they have filled in um, when you're doing the research if you're a bed and breakfast as an example you'd go out and look for other bed and breakfasts and in looking at other bed and breakfasts I might look at some that are in the same geographic area that I'm in but perhaps more important I'll be looking for those that have a large number of fans because those that have a large number of fans have probably done things right so I would want to go and take a look at those and see what type of information they've got in the about description and general information areas I think that you'll find when you go out that a number of them have provided uh, links to their website to their blog to their other social media um, you'll see all kinds of information that's very pertinent and very relevant uh, to your target markets uh, you might find specific calls to action because we all know that people do what they're told to do um, also you will look at the search engine optimization um, and this is a topic that we'll talk about when we get into uh, more advanced areas this is just a brief overview to show you how to set up that page but um, you will because your page is indexed by the search engines uh, you will want to make sure that you've got your key um, search phrases the, the most important keyword phrases for your business uh, in these areas because they are indexed like I say by the search engines um, so you want to fill in your your basic information uh, again you've got the option here to do your profile picture and with the profile picture what happens is you will have uh, developed a profile picture specifically for your Facebook page um, it will be one that uh, you know perhaps shows the picture of your bed and breakfast or your business if it's appropriate but it will have other things as well number one it should be a very um, it should be a professional photo very crisp um, you've got a 4 meg maximum um, but it, you really do want to have a professional shot um, you may also have and again go out and take a look at your competition and other uh, businesses of your type that are on the uh, that have Facebook pages and have a look and see what other information they've got in that profile page uh, sorry that profile picture uh, they may have uh, their telephone number their 1-800 number might have their web address they might have um, you know any other kind of information um, incorporated into that uh, photoshopped picture so you want to uh, make sure that you've done that properly before you add that to your uh, add that to your page uh, a number of these others are things that you're going to get to later uh, marketing this is where you can advertise on Facebook it will you click on advertise on Facebook it'll take you out to the advertising uh, section tell your fans get a badge add a like box to your website these are all things that are that are after you've got your page uh, set up and ready to roll manage the admins uh, I'm automatically there because I set this up but then I can also add another admin if this person is uh, a friend of mine on Facebook it'll pick them up by the name so let's take uh, uh, Kara is a another Dean at eLearning U uh, so I would choose her that's actually her personal so I would go Kara Sweeney 
and that's the uh, eLearning U Dean uh, link. <clears throat> so you can add other admins just by clicking on uh, add another admin. So these are the people that will be allowed to get in and make changes to the page, add new tabs, um, those types of things. Um, apps with the um, with the apps, it brings you out to uh, applications that you can use on this Waverly Bed and Breakfast page. So you can um, go to the app for adding photos. You can add your events app. Um, so there are lots of different applications. Again, this is uh, beyond the initial setup. When we get into the course on uh, Facebook marketing, uh, I'm going to talk to you all about the apps and custom apps. Uh, that you will have on your uh, on your page. Uh, again, mobile, it's uh, a section that gives you some information on how you can update your page from a mobile device um, and other aspects related to, to mobile. Again, these are things that will that you'll go into after you uh, create the initial page. The insights, that is the uh, measurement or the analytics for um, for your Facebook page. And that basically is it. So what I wanted to do in this was just basically to uh, show you how you go about setting up your page and the type of information that is, um, that's needed to be able to set this up. Uh, again, just a real short, quick overview on where and how to set up your Facebook page so that you're ready to be able to um, understand and comprehend and appreciate all of the information that's provided in the uh, Facebook series that we're providing at eLearning U. The uh, Developing Your Social Media Strategy, uh, Facebook 101, the uh, beginning of Facebook, managing your Facebook page, advertising on Facebook, Facebook applications, um, uh, measurement and analytics. So there's a whole range of uh, courses that we have at eLearning U. And again, this was just a real short, short, short snippet, not detailed in any uh, way, shape or form uh, for anybody who has not ever set up a Facebook page to give you an overview of how it's done and to show you that it is actually very easy to be able to do that. So uh, with that, with all this being said and done, we'll see you soon at um, e-learning you and you'll be ready to participate fully in the uh, Facebook series. Thanks very much and I'll talk to you soon. Susan Sweeney, e-learning you. Bye-bye.